Well, good evening. So, what am I talking about this evening? Well, let's have a look. Uh, you should see the mouse pointer going over here. Just looking at a web page. Oh, Streamlabs OBS. What's that, Neil? Well, I will tell you. It's Slobs. What a fantastic name. It's Streamlabs um, working very closely with OBS and you see with all the other things it's a new application it's in beta and i've just used it and it is absolutely fantastic so i'm doing a how the hell do you use this video okay so search for slobs streamlabs in google and the first one that comes up is streamlabs obs and you click on it and it will take you to a web page eventually Anytime today. Okay. This is it. Don't look at anything else. Just download it. <laughs> so you can click on it and you download it and you install it and you follow the instructions and you will end up with this. You think, oh my lord, what is this? Uh, when you sign in, I've signed in with Twitch and it's. Um, <clears throat> just shows you, I've gone, uh, this is the big tool. It loads up, uh, when it first starts, it checks for um, updates, and then it just comes in. <clears throat> now I have uh, set everything up, as you see up here in the top right, um, logged in as uh, Farming Neil. Um, this is an all dashboard, and you think, well, it's just Streamlabs. Oh, this is just a dashboard. If we look along here, we've got four options. There is dashboard, library, editor, and live. But something just made a funny noise. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you think, what? What's all this? Um, <clears throat> first thing I should say, it does optimization at the beginning. And it's done a fantastic job of doing that. Um, it's reduced my output for stream to 720 and 60 frames, and it looks very, very good. Uh, there's no um, blocking of the graphics when you move fast and stuff. It's extremely cool. Okay, so that's essential, I think, because if you have, if you knew, if you're new to streaming, this is just the perfect tool. Slobs, Streamlabs, OBS. Okay, so you think, well, what's so good about it? Uh, right, it's optimized, everything you've got here, you've got bug reports, settings. The settings are pretty standard, the same as OBS. Okay, so I won't go through. Um, and you think, Neil, come on, what's different? Well, let's have a look at the library. This is where it comes into its own. Uh, and you think, what? And you look, overlays, oh, and... Let's have a look. Uh, you think, well, there's a lot there. Uh, 16 pages of them. <laughs> so you just pick the next one. And you think, oh my God, and you can pick them. Uh, well, let's just, I'll pick one at random. Uh, this one, okay, dark mist. No, that one, nickel plated neon. So you click on that. This is what it will give you. <coughs> There's three separate scenes in OBS. It will create up um, a new profile and put these in. So you have your main screen. This is what your screen looks like. This is your main screen here. And you see the things at the top. Uh, will that go up there? No. Okay. So you think, oh yeah. Okay. And you get a stream starting soon. You get the chat in there and your name and everything. And you got the beam right back with the camera and everything. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay. So you could then go, um, yeah, that's fine and then select it, but we won't. We shall go back to the library. I'll show you, there's loads of things. You can filter, th filter them all out. Um, you can pick yeah, the packages that might have just stream starting and stuff like that, because some of them might not have them. And just go through, there are loads. Not any for farming sim. But hopefully it's something soon. But I've I've just knocked one together. Okay, which I will just show you. Okay, just look. Look, it's just work and um, I'll be perfectly honest, it's beta. Works perfectly fine. It's very, very, very cool. 
I um, might want to change mine a little bit. Now I'd like to thank um, Brummy Farmer. Uh, he's got an excellent YouTube channel and I think he, tw he streams live to both YouTube and Twitch. Um, I came across him because I was looking for, you oh, it's a silly 16 times map called Corn Belt. And he's done some tutorials on it and he's been playing it live for ages, for months. And uh, yeah, he's done a very good job and it's very interesting. But I noticed in his last couple of videos that he had this overlay added on there. And he just happened to mention slobs. I've never heard of it. But it actually was released, I think, um, I think the 6th or 7th of January. <coughs> I could be wrong there, but we all will. This is just the best thing since sliced bread. It's really, really good. But, okay, go to the editor. Do you click on this? And this is what I've made up. Uh, see the thing. As, what I'll do as I haven't got my lights on, I will just flick the webcam off. That's fine. <laughs> it's quite cozy. There's a little bit of snow outside and everything, and it's quite cold. So we'll have. We won't look at me. We will just look at look at this. And this is the stuff that's already there. Um, see, I just clicked on diffraction. Okay, and. It's made a new profile with line scene starting soon and be right back. Me. Hey. Hey. All right. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> like mongoloid. Hey. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is it. It's all up and running and it's got everything just working perfectly. Okay. Um, all right, it's got. I haven't got many followers, but this would be where the webcam goes and everything like that. And what I'll do, because I just did this, just to make sure things were lined up, this is what it looks like in-game. Okay, looks good. Uh, the way I've done it, I've blocked the top bit, but I think for now, I mean, that's okay. People don't, uh, people watch it, I think, more. I could always say, move the webcam over to here, but I mean, I'll do it at my leisure. But what I will do, I'll show you how easy it is. Uh, say I wanted to move the jar across. So you just click on it and it comes up. You can resize it. You can move it around with the, the keys and moving the keys around and finally join it. Uh, you can go down there. You can go into uh, settings. So you've got the jar size and the frame the frames per second that it plays and other stuff. And and the type it is. Uh, okay, I'll keep that job. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's really cool. Uh, if I click in here, this is where the uh, events are that will come up. Uh, here is the chat box and we've got the chat box frame. Uh, you see, might see some email coming up. Edit pics and apologize for that. And yeah, looks unbelievably cool. You just move things around, like say, I wanted to uh, move the event list. Uh, just move it around and down. Just think, yeah, pretty cool. You can then go to your dashboard. Um, okay, when it eventually loads up, go to the event list and you can. Pick whatever you want. Okay, so let's go for. Uh, I want a green. I want a green. So let's go. Ooh, green like that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like it. So we go down, usual thing, go to save, go back to our editor. Oh, there it is. Looking good. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> um, okay, it's got a lovely thing where you can test the widgets. So I'll have a new follow. Wow. Okay, so it's got the scrolling message. I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see it there. And look, there's my logo. <laughs> Gives me I'll do that again actually. Uh, if I was in, there's there, it's a little message, and there's my logo. It's falling straight in the jar. Fantastic. You do it for subscriptions, and it's all on the event list, it's all coming up, looking really cool, not really blocking up anything. <laughs> no, I love that cat's face. Bits, I don't know what bits are. Cheered times one, 
Uh, hosting, yay. Wow, wish I had that amount of viewers. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, you want to go live? You think, how do I go live, Neil? You just go this, click live. Now you get a preview of what the screen looks like and everything. Now, there is <laughs> somewhere in here. Oh, if I hide, hide these, there it is. A go live, the live button there. I did wonder. We can just hit record and it just does the record. Fantastic. So I wonder if that will record that. So you could just record uh, a simulated live stream. Very, very cool. All right. Well, this also shows, if I click here, we'll show you the chat window here as it comes up. Excellent. Okay. So uh, is it going to come up with anything? No, but it's just welcomed that. So it's brilliant. So I'll go back to the editor. So this is what it all looks like. <coughs> it is fantastic. Let's get rid of this. <coughs> it's me. All right. So slobs. Wow. It's really, 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 really cool. Big 10 out of 10. Streamlabs. Oh, I was looking at, um, <coughs> it was only a few days ago, I was looking at uh, actually paying uh, for a service to do an overlay. And now it's all done, done and dusted. It takes a few minutes just to move things around the screen. <laughs> Can be a bit tricky, but just get the darn thing as big as possible. <laughs> and then you're, 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 you're up and running in seconds. And it's all, it organizes everything for you. It is fantastic. Big thumbs up. So if you are thinking about streaming and not quite sure <coughs> what settings, you think it's a little bit complicated, Streamlabs OBS, like I say, search for Slobs or Streamlabs OBS and it comes up with that link. Download the beta program. Just run, uh, log in with Twitch or YouTube, whichever one you want, whichever one you use with um, Streamlabs. And uh, yeah, and that, that'll be it. It'll be all done and dusted. All done and dusted, sir. All done and dusted. Um, very easy. Uh, I will leave a link to everything in the video thing, but just wanted to show you this fantastic tool. It is uh, epic. It's epic. It's exactly what I could have done with nine months ago or 10 months or 11 months ago. But yeah, so you'll see me online later and I shall be streaming uh, using my overlay. And you'll say, Neil, can't read any of it. It's a bit rubbish, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, finally, Streamlabs OBS is a beta of it. Go and download it. It is an epic tool. Uh, I, I've only just quickly scraped the surface of it. You, you've got your connection straight to Streamlabs, which is here, which if you don't use, I would recommend using. It's very, very simple to use. Now it's simple. Just log an account in, sort things out. You've got a choice of so many pre-made, but you can make your own. Just go into the editor. If I wanted to put some text down, so I'm just going, yeah, okay, add. And you've got all these that you can add. Let's go, uh, I don't know. Ooh. let's have a look. Donation ticker, okay. So we'll just stop one of them in, okay. And we'll add source, okay. I'm just call it donation ticker, done. And this is it, okay, done. And that's there. So I think, well, oh, that's in the wrong place. I really want it going to the bottom here. Let's go there and we will put that along the <laughs> and we will move this up a little bit to there. Okay, looking cool. That's how easy it is. And uh, yeah, it's just very, very cool. Um, <coughs> exceptional i'm not worthy that's the simple truth okay slobs streamlabs obs download it have lots of fun and get streaming 
it is so easy. The wizard at the beginning where it streamlines your settings is exceptional. All right, I had no problems with this whatsoever and I will recommend it to anyone. All right, well, thank you very much.